Hi everyone and welcome back to another Intro to Signal Analysis video. Today's topic is how to find the fundamental frequency of a signal that consists of a sum of sinusoids. So let's get started. So first let's talk about what a periodic signal is. Here's the mathematical definition of a periodic signal. A signal is periodic if x of t is equal to x of t plus t0 for all t. t0 is the period. So here are some examples of periodic signals. The sinusoid is the most obvious example. It oscillates up and down uh, with a period of t0, so it repeats every t0 seconds. We could have another type of signal, which I'll call a square wave, um, because it ha has this square shape going up and down, um, and it similarly repeats every t0 seconds, so it's a periodic signal. We could also have some other type of periodic signal, which doesn't have a square or a sinusoidal shape. It, it first goes up linearly and then flat across and then jumps up, flat across, and jumps back down. And it just repeats this every t0 seconds. So that's also a periodic signal. So periodic signals can look uh, pretty varied, um, but the key feature of them is that they repeat every t0 seconds. So today's topic is if we're given a signal that consists of a sum of a bunch of um, sine waves, um, can we figure out the period um, of that signal? So we're going to consider signals that consist of um, a sum of sine waves where the amplitude of each sine is a1, a2, a3, the frequency is f1, f2, f3, the phase is phi1, phi2, and phi3, and we could add as many of these as we want to. So how do we determine the period t0? Well, the solution is first we have to find the fundamental frequency f0, which is just the inverse of t0. So how do we find the fundamental frequency? If we suppose that we only have three frequencies in the signal, f1, f2, and f3, then if the signal is periodic, each of these frequencies will be an integer multiple of the fundamental. Okay, so we can write equations like this. F1 is going to be an integer multiple, n1, times F0. So n1 is an integer. F2 can be written as an inter a different integer multiple of F0, n2 times F0. And F3 is an integer multiple of F0. Um, so we've defined three equations here um, in terms of F1, F2, and F3, and the integers n1, n2, and n3, and... Um, the fundamental, sig fundamental frequency, F0. If a solution to this exists, then, um, then we have a fundamental frequency and the signal is periodic. If a solution doesn't exist, the signal is not periodic. Now I've defined, um, I've said down here that um, F0 can be written as GCD of F1, F2, and F3. What is GCD? GCD is the greatest common divisor. So that's a mathematical way um, to write the solution um, to the fundamental frequency F0. Um, it's the greatest common divisor of all of these frequencies. Um, that solution may not exist. There may not be a greatest common divisor, um, and in that case the signal is not periodic. Um, so let's see how we would actually go about implementing or finding the solution to the fundamental frequency. So here I've defined an example, and in my example, um, F1 is 12 hertz, F2 is 27 hertz, and F3 is 51 hertz. Um, so for this example, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to solve those equations. So I'm trying to solve the equation that says I can write F1 as an integer multiple of F0, F2 is another integer multiple of F0, and f3 is an integer multiple of f0. So how do I go about solving this? Well, I can uh, use an iter to iterative procedure. I can first just start and say, well, let's take the smallest integer. And let's say n1. Let's assume n1 is equal to 1 and test and see if that will work. Uh, if n1 is equal to 1, then f0 is equal to f1 over n1, which is just... Um, in this case, 12 hertz, because 12 over 1 is 12. And so that would say, well, does this work? 
are these other frequencies an integer multiple of 12? Well, 27 is clearly not an integer multiple of 12. So 27 is not a multiple of 12. So this can't work. Okay, so we try the next one. We try the next integer up. N2 is equal to 2. Well, in that case, F0 would be F, sorry, got to get my notation right. It's not N2. I'm trying another solution for N1. So I'm trying N1 is equal to 2. So it's F0 is equal to F1 over N1 which would be 12 over 2, which would be 6 in this case. So then we ask ourselves, is f2 a multiple of 6? Well, it's not. It's not an integer multiple of 6. Um, so 27 is not a multiple of 6. So this does not work. So we try again. We try the next one up. n1 is equal to 3. That we would say f0, if we assume that, would be f1 over 3. Uh, f1 over 3 is 12 over 3, which is 4. Well, are these other, these other frequencies a multiple of 4? Well, no, they're not. 27 is not a multiple of 4. So this doesn't work either. So we're going to try yet another one. n1 is equal to 4. We'd come out with f0 is equal to f1 over 4, 12 over 4, which is 3 hertz. Well, this is looking a little more promising. F2, which is 27, is actually a multiple of 3 hertz. It is equal to um, 9 times 3. So um, that would be N2 times 3, where N2 is 9. Um, okay, N2 is equal to 9. Similarly, we can write F3 is equal to 51, which is equal to um, the N3 times 3. Um, and that we can also write. We can do that. N3 is now, I believe, F3 divided by 3 is going to be 17 times 3. So 3 times 17 will get me the 51 hertz. Um, so this signal is indeed periodic, and we know that F0 is equal to 3 hertz. The fundamental frequency is equal to 3 hertz. That's what we just solved for. And the fundamental period is one-third of a second. So it is periodic, and we've just found its fundamental frequency and period. Okay, let's see another example. All right, here's another example. In this case, F1 is equal to 2, F2 is equal to 3.5, and, and F3 is equal to 5. So right now, I encourage you um, to go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this yourself before we solve it together. Okay, I hope you pause the video and work through it yourself. Let's talk about the, the answers. So again, we're solving equations of the form F1 is equal to N1 F0. F2 is equal to N2 F0. F3 is equal to N3 F0. And we can go through the same type of iterative approach. If we try uh, N1 is equal to 1, that would tell us that F1 um, would be equal, sorry, F0 is what we're solving for. F0 would be um, F0 would be equal to 2 hertz. So are these other frequencies multiples of 2 hertz? No, they're not, right? 3.5 is not an integer multiple of 2. So that won't work. 3.5 is not a multiple of 2. So we again try N1 is equal to 2. That would say F0 is equal to F1 over 2, which is equal to 1. Well, are these others integer multiples of 1? Well, 5 is, but 3.5 is not. So this won't work either. We could try N1 is equal to 3. 
F0 now will be equal to 2 thirds. Well, that doesn't work because 5 is not an integer multiple of 2 thirds, nor is 3 and a half. So that doesn't work. So finally, we try n1 is equal to 4. We get f0 is equal to 2 over 4, or 1 half. And now it's easy to show that f2 is an integer multiple of a half, because we can say f2 is equal to 7 times 1 half, so that works. And f3 is equal to 10 times 1 half, so that works. So our solution to this problem is that f0 is equal to uh, 1 half hertz, meaning that t0 is equal to 2 seconds. And the signal is periodic. Okay, so hopefully that's what you got when you work through it on your own. Let's see one more example. So let's take a look at this one. This signal I've written out, x of t is four, cosine 4 pi t plus cosine 9 t. And the question is, is this signal periodic? And if so, what is f, f0 and what is t0? OK, well, first we have to write out what f1, um, the frequency of the first signal is. f1 is equal to, now we've been given this in terms of radian frequency here. Um, so we have to divide by 2 pi to get frequency in hertz to do the calculations we've been doing. So it's 4 pi divided by 2 pi, and that is 2 hertz. Okay, what about f2? The second signal has a frequency, a radian frequency of 9, so we divide by 2 pi to get its frequency in hertz. Okay, so then the question is, can we write f1 is equal to um, n1 times f0, and f2 is equal to n2 times f0, right? If the signal is periodic, then they should each be an integer multiple of the fundamental. Um, so we could rearrange these equations a bit. Um, starting here, we just rearrange these a little bit, and we say, well, this will be f1 over n1 is equal to f0. And if we arrange this equation, rearrange this equation, we get that um, f2 over n2 is also equal to f0. So this is effectively the equation we're solving. So we can continue rearranging and just move the n1 over here and the f2 over here. And what we'd be left with is f1 over f2 is equal to n1 over n2. So this is a ratio of integers, right? If we can solve these equations, then f1 over f2 must be a ratio of integers. Well, is that true in this case? So what do we have? Um, we have f1 is equal to 2 hertz, and um, we have f2 is equal to 9 over 2 pi hertz, right? Um, so we could rearrange that, and it's 4 pi over 9, 4 pi over 9. Um, and is that equal to a ratio of integers? Well, pi isn't rational, so it's not. It's not equal to a ratio of integers. So pi isn't rational, so this signal is not periodic. This signal is not periodic because I can't go through and solve these equations. Okay, so now you've been given two examples where we had um, periodic signals and we were able to find the fundamental frequency. And we've been given one example, this last one, um, where the signal was not periodic because the frequencies were not, um, the ratio of the frequencies is not uh, a ratio of integers. I just want to make one more point about a special case that we have here. If we had written out our original signal as x of t is equal to a0, which is just a constant, plus a sum of n cosines, sum of n phase shifted cosines, and if we had set the frequencies of these cosines, we say are fk, 
But if fk can be written as k times f0, then by definition, all the frequencies are integer multiples of f0. So in this special case, um, we don't really have to do any work. f0 is the fundamental frequency. So if I'd had a different equation here, I just had 2 pi k f0 t plus phi k in here, um, then uh, I wouldn't have to do any work. I would just automatically know that f0 is the fundamental frequency in hertz, and t0 is 1 over f0, the inverse, um, and that's the period, and that's in seconds. Okay, so uh, that concludes our video for the day. Hopefully you found it useful. It was actually made uh, for a course at George Mason University in fall 2005. If you want more information about Mason, the Volgeno School of Engineering, the ECE department, or me, uh, you can find it on these websites. Thank you for watching.